Hi, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences. You know, I thought I had done a lot of research on grounding. However, I found with the incredible amount of comments that you guys have given me, I've had actually hundreds of comments and emails asking for this video. And this video will most likely be my wrap up of the grounding video. What you guys wanted from me is to actually stand on the earth, no socks, nothing, and take in the actual grounding as it is. And then what we're going to do is test the difference of what it looks like in the live cell using actual grounding. As we know, grounding has incredible benefits for people. Again, from the comments you guys have told me of all the different things and benefits that people are having from one of my other two grounding videos. How an incredible simple thing is giving so many people so many benefits naturally. Some of the benefits we can get from grounding, if you haven't watched any of the other videos, is it can reduce inflammation huge. We've also found that sleeping is much better. Another thing is supporting the immune system, supporting the circulation. The list goes on of so many. I have tested the grounding mat, which I have a video. I have tested the grounding sheets, which I really liked as well. And now I'm testing the actual grounding standing on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have a seat and I'm gonna go up and down, keep my feet on the ground, for about 15 minutes like I did with the mat. So here I am having a seat. I've got my feet on the ground here and I'm gonna ground myself for the next 15 minutes. I am gonna do a little bit of sitting on the ground as well with the skin and the calves on the ground as well to get as much possible. But I wanna do what the majority would do, which would be ultimately walking on the ground, barefooted. I mean, that's what a lot of these earthing movies and things like that um, really promote. So here we are at the allotted time. Um, I've done a good amount of grounding using my leg skin, my calves, as well as my feet. So here I am, I'm gonna take a sample. I'm not gonna wear gloves because it's myself and I don't need to protect myself from myself. So here I go, I'm gonna get out my slides, line them up nicely. We're gonna take two samples. This is an alcohol swab. We use this to ensure that the area is clean. From that point, these are disposable lancets that we do use. I'm going to line it up and take a brick. Perfect. I'm very gently going to bring out the first little bit here. And what we like to do in live cell is wipe away the first one and utilize the second blood drop. So here I have a nice sample here. We're going to open the cover slips up and put a nice cover slip on this one. Okay, we're going to take another sample beautiful samples. So I've got two really fantastic live cell samples and we're going to go take a look at one of them under the microscope right immediately after me grounding. So here we are. We're going to go zoom in the blood. We're going to see what it's like. I've now moved over to my microscope. As you can see, I have it all set up outside for us. Uh, so here we go. So here we've got the blood up on the screen. The last few times when we did grounding, we brought this up on screen and it was flying like a freight train. Unfortunately, in this case, it isn't moving as much as we'd like it to see just from grounding. This could mean perhaps we need to ground longer um, because we're actually using the earth, um, or it could mean that the mats do perhaps give you a bit more um, electrical currency, which may might make it a little stronger in the grounding. So let's just move around and let's see what we have. So on the screen here, you are seeing the red blood cells. This is actually a super cool thing that we are seeing that may relate to the grounding. This is a white blood cell. This is called a neutrophil. This white blood cell is the Dyson of the body. And what we're actually seeing here in this case is the Dyson or the immune neutrophil 
addressing something in a red blood cell and sucking out the pathogen it needs to suck out. Now, as you can see, these cells do want to move, but unfortunately there isn't enough there circulatory support that's getting it to move. Another thing that may make it move a little bit more is addressing liver toxins. Um, this helps with circulatory as well. So over here, this is another immune cell, quite happy with him. So what I'm actually gonna do is, um, I'm gonna pull up the second sample and see if there's any difference in that second sample. All right, this one is showing a little bit more inflammation. Okay, but we're seeing a bit more movement. Over here, some of these cells with dots inside are ones that have parasites inside. Now, yes, I have parasites as well. It's a hard thing to keep out of the body as these are environmental. And I would have to consistently detox myself of these parasites to really ensure that I have none. And I don't wanna be doing that as frequently throughout the year. So I kind of do it once a year. We still are not seeing that movement we'd like to be seeing like we did on the grounding mat or the grounding sheets. So what I would really recommend from this point is I am really strongly advocating for mats because the mats seem to have the most impact happening. However, I'm not saying that grounding and natural grounding isn't in so many different ways healthy for the body, but we're just not seeing the impact as quickly as we did with the sheet and the mat. I hope this helps everybody. I hope this gives you a great snapshot. I've got some amazing videos coming up um, that are very different, nothing like it on YouTube. So hopefully subscribe, comment, and like my videos.